My name is Rochelle Humes. Being mixed race means I'm three times more likely to die during pregnancy, childbirth, and soon after. But black women fare even worse and are four times more likely to suffer a maternal death than white women. From the first moment that you find out you're pregnant, you've done the test, it's such a personal journey, so it means something different to everybody. There's parts of your pregnancy that you think, oh, I hope everything's all right. But not any point should you think, am I gonna make it through this because of my race? Do you notice a way that your white clients are treated differently to your black and brown clients? Sadly, yes. For example, the woman whose husband said to the midwife, you're not listening to my wife, could you read her birth plan? And she looked at him and said, if you don't sit down and be quiet, I'm going to call security because you're being aggressive. That has never happened with a white partner. We do know that the women who die, um, by and large, have other problems. The system is biased against women that have got multiple and complex problems. There are more of those biases in the care that black and Asian women receive compared with white women. What tends to be offered as a reason is that black women are more likely to have the health conditions that puts them at greater risk. They're more likely to be overweight, for example. They're more likely to have hypertension. So we tend not to actually ask why. And often the answer is that being racialized in society means that you are more likely to have these conditions. So we want to know, number one, why this is happening, and number two, we want to see a change. I will be damned if my daughter, should she ever choose to give birth, is 15, 20, yeah. 30 times more likely to die just because she's a black woman.